Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm just out for a ride today and I thought I'd give you an update on how the Vosges is doing. I'll show you what I've done to change things on the bike and uh, let you know my feedback on them as well. So we've done 6,825 kilometres from New so far. That's a thousand kilometres to my trip in Morocco. And most of that has been on asphalt actually and I'm surprised how well I feel riding this bike on the asphalt. I'd never thought I'd be able to tour on a little 300cc trail bike. But I've put this seat cushion on from AliExpress and I made a video about it. So there's a link on that video, there should be. And that has made amazing difference. I mean, I've been riding this bike like for two hours, which I did on my Tiger. And I could get back on it, quite ready to get back on it after a short break. So I'm quite amazed by that. But riding this bike is so, there's no stress. It's so easy and it's so, it's, it's just so easy to ride. Uh, comfortable, good posture for me. And I'm not stressed out by riding it fast or anything. So you can just poodle along and enjoy. Anyway, what have I done to the bike? I uh, fitted this GPS mount from AliExpress, which there's loads of them on there. See a slight bit of rust in there, no major problem. I've got a DMD uh, navigation phone from Thorpe Racing, DMD2 on there, which I'm just getting used to using. So far I've been using Maps Me, and I'm learning to play with the off-road settings on uh, DMD2. Um, I fitted Oxford heated grips, the Adventure heated grips, and honestly I'm so grateful for these. They've got all these different settings, and I've, I've had to use the maximum in Morocco in the mornings because up in the mountains it is darn cold. There's been frost in some of the valleys. So I'm so glad I fitted them. Also the ergonomics and the grip on these are so good. I've got these mirrors, the uh, bark, the, uh, what do they call them? Sorry, I forget names sometimes. But it double takes, yes. Now I had these on my Tiger and that's why I just put them on here. And I put them on the Tiger because I dropped that bike several times that once it smashed a mirror thought never again if you're in the middle of nowhere and you drop and you lose a mirror and there's glass smashed all over the ground so that's why i've got these and they've proved invaluable because they've had a few clouts and uh they've taken it the bark busters were on my tiger as well i just happened to fit here they served well on the tiger because i had one slide down the asphalt road for some distance and they took the brunt of it um, so i quite good about those although the original hand guards are good anyway um, what else have I done? Oh, the bash plate. Oh, this is while I'm here. The gear change lever. Yes, this is again. Made a video about fitting this from AliExpress. That has made an amazing difference. I didn't think I had problems. I think I would have problems with the original if I went back to it now. Because the extra length on that makes it so much easier to change gear. Highly recommended. And of course I fitted the engine bash plate. Now I was, was asked a question, which I will answer, was the plastic trim here, which went down here, would it protect the water hose? Well, I can't say it would do much, to be honest, because it would be exposed at the front anyway. So I don't think it would make a difference fitting this to protection of your water hose. So good question though. Now, what I found on this trip, one little niggle, I was getting a clunking sound and it was this chain guard had come loose and I, it's amazing because it has bolts and lock nuts on the other side but the lock nuts had come loose obviously it's something to do with quality so I've just tweaked it up and I'll keep an eye on that but otherwise the bike's a little dream to ride I'm loving it more and more and it's going everywhere I want to go um, long may it last <laughs>